targeting properties that have been sitting on the market just like this one sometimes that's the best strategy this is your show this is the show where i work for you directly taking your needs i'm going through the mls and i'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys put down 25 percent. that's the perfect way to buy this that's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world Hey everyone, welcome to the 409th, did I get that right? Uh, yeah, 409th episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise. This is the show on Holden Wise TV where we work together, mano e mano, to help you guys start, build, grow, even sell your real estate portfolios. Well, actually, we don't, we don't sell them for you on this show. We sell them on the other show, the Investment Properties for Sale show. So if you have properties in Cleveland you'd like me to sell, I want you to check out that show and then send my team an email, sales at HoltonWise.com. We'll be able to air your properties on that show. This show is all about buyers. We work with buyers directly, one-on-one. -on -one. And the buyer I'm working with is an investor named Phil. Phil, you are out of Russia, right? We work with guys nationwide, folks, because we help you analyze the right properties, help you set up inspections, help you with the broker agency relationships, handle the title work, handle the insurance, handle the property management, the landscaping, the construction, the whole nine, right? And Phil, I have set up a uh, a strategy for you based on what you got going on where we are targeting properties that other investors are picking over. Why? Because you are in Russia, you're using financing, and as has been discussed in a previous video for you, a lot of sellers are going to get scared of a guy who's living overseas using financing from banks they've never heard of uh, overseas, right? It's going to freak people out. So if we go and target hot deals, deals where there's a lot of competition, odds are good. People are going to pass over your bids and you ain't going to be able to do deals, right? So what we need to do is focus on deals that other investors are passing up. And the property I got on the screen is something I presented to another investor a little bit ago. And uh, that investor opted not to do, the, do that deal. They passed up that deal and it's been sitting on the market for quite a while. So I want you to take a look at that footage now. So we're going to be going into those, you know, lower income type neighborhoods, those CD neighborhoods, right? That's where I've made the bulk of my money, folks, okay? CD neighborhoods, that's where your boy, Jay Wise, has just, you know, you drive down these neighborhoods, man. The Holton Wise signs, okay, they're on all the damn properties, basically, all right? This is our sweet spot, our bread and butter, okay? 3501 West 60th, Cleveland 44102. Just recently dropped in price, right? It's been on the market a little while, got a little stale. So the listing agent, they went and dropped that thing down to 66,009. Hundred ninety nine dollars, and I think it's a damn good price where it's at right now. We have two units. One is renting for four ninety five. The other is renting for seven and a quarter. Now, that's twelve twenty a month. Is that four ninety five unit a little lower than it should? Yes, but I'm just going to calculate the numbers based upon what it's currently bringing because. It's bringing enough cash for right now to make the move now. Going forward, yeah, you could probably squeeze that rent up. Maybe get it up to like 550 maybe 600 okay? It's a littler unit, right? But uh, the other one, we're pretty much at market rent. Like, truth be told, Holton Wise, when we rent these out, we rent them for $750. they are at seven and a quarter, right? Same thing. And we got uh, a lot of the big ticket items taken care of, right? So when you say things like, you know, the bones are good, this is a particular property where the bones uh, are exactly where we want them to be. So let's check that out, right? Let's see what the listing agent said. Listing agent, they're out of a company called Platinum Real Estate, all right? Investors welcome. Both units rented. First floor rented for $725. Has three bedrooms, living room, dining room, and nicely remodeled kitchen. Second floor rented for $495 a month. Has been completely remodeled. New flooring throughout. Updated kitchen and freshly painted large one bedroom with plenty of storage. Second floor is a nice open floor plan. Here's your big ticket stuff, guys. Roof is only eight years old. Roofs, they last about 30 years. That's about a $7,000 roof. It's nice you don't got to worry about that for about 22 years, all right? Down unit, newer furnace. Down unit, newer electrical panel. Two new water tanks. Very well kept homes. Large yard, uh, close to I-71 and 90 grocery store. Metro Hospital and more. Metro Hospital. 
It's one of the specific things uh, you talk to me about, Jeff. You'd like the Metro Hospital area, right? You like being near there, okay? Why? Because they're investing a billion dollars into their campus and the surrounding area into low-income housing. So if we're going to be hitting the low-income housing, folks, I'd like to be in an area like this where we see some major dollars being pumped into it, right? You take a low-income area and you throw a fucking billion dollars at it, I mean, you know, I don't see the future, but I don't see how that ain't going to be good, right? You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... You know, cruising through the pictures here, right? Just typical, you know, what you see in these lower-income apartments, right? I mean, nothing fancy, right? You know, beds on the floor, right? That's common, right? When you're in this, uh, you know, asset class, you're in this type of rental range, you know, that's what you get, right? You get people with the, the beds on the floor. I haven't seen any in this unit, but, you know, a lot of times the night the night side tables, right? They're just milk cartons. I mean, that's what you get, right? There's that fresh electrical panel she talked about. There's that beautiful hot water tank and furnace she spoke about, right? Looking good there, okay? Ooh, looking good. That's money right there, right? Nice shiny, shiny bad boy there. Got the living room here. Unfortunately, we appear to be missing a TV. I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe they were shopping that day. I'm not sure, but, uh, you know, we have no indication from these folks that these people are behind in rent, so that's what you get. Here's the backyard. Another shot of the bedroom, bathroom, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you know, just typical. Uh, there's that shot of that nice newer roof looking good. Just so you know, just want to make sure I clarify this. This is actually, when I said there's the backyard, I was hoping this photo was after it. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk about. Uh, there ain't no garage here, all right? And I know a lot of people, they get nervous at first, right, when they're coming to the Cleveland Market and they see there ain't no garage. It's not a problem. Don't worry about it. Now, there are some municipalities in the Cleveland Market where uh, they have point-of-sale systems, right? And if you don't know what point-of-sale is, pause the video. Show notes below. I got a video about point-of-sale. Watch that, okay? Now, Cleveland itself does not have point-of-sale regulations, so nothing to worry about there. They ain't going to make you build a garage, and you're not going to increase the amount of rent you're going to receive from your tenants for having a garage. We have really old housing stock here, right? We got 100-year-old housing stock. So what is really common, okay, is they had a bunch of these like old little lean-to garages built, you know, 100 years ago, right? These things, they get all jacked up. People, we just tear them down, okay? We just tear them down. doesn't make sense to rebuild them. You don't need to drop $20,000 to rebuild a garage, okay? Uh, it, it does not affect it, and it's actually very common not to have garages in Cleveland. does not affect your rentability, so do not worry about that. That is nothing uh, that is going to hurt your value, okay? Are you a lender? If so, Holton Wise is looking to partner with you. If you're licensed in all 50 states, go to HoltonWise.com. Click the digital media tab to advertise on Holton Wise TV today. Bada bing, bada boom. This thing's looking good, right? Now, 69999. If you had to pay $69.99, Jeff, I think you should. But I'm going to, of course, try to get you a little discount, right? So we'll try to get it for $65. As far as the numbers, even with our current uh, units, seven and a quarter, four ninety five. dollars Again, we could probably squeeze out, you know, get that seven and a quarter one, you know, seven fifty, dollars maybe eight, maybe even eight and a quarter, right? So maybe a hundred bucks there. And then, you know, between 50 and 100 bucks on the other unit. But let's not even worry about that because you'd have to, of course, do a turnover and, you know, you're spending a few grand. So just assuming these two tenants are pretty solid, we want to keep them around. We don't want to really increase their rents because they're very close to market rents, right? So 1220 comes in. I anticipate spending 633 on average. That includes saving 732 for future repairs and maintenance, 732 for future CapEx, even though a lot of those big ticket items, roofs, furnaces, hot water tanks are newer. And also 732 for folks not paying their rent, right? Because these are things that happen in low-income neighborhoods, okay? So not even counting that $2,100 as profit, I anticipate this bringing pure profit to you of about $7,000 a year. That is a 10.8 cap. If we finance the bad boy, you only need 16 Gs to get into the deal. And it's a 28.2% cash on cash return. All right, Phil, welcome back, man. Let me know uh, if you want to make a move on this one, right? This is just another property that has been on the market for quite some time, right? 
as I speak to you today, it's been on the market for 128 days, right? That's good for us, Phil, right? Because that means there's not a lot of more attractive buyers that the seller is just going to want to work with, right? The seller might be open uh, to doing a finance deal where the financing is coming from overseas. And, you know, they're not, they, they might still be afraid of it, but there's not a lot of other buyers banging on their door, right? So we got to, you know... See what the market's going to present to us, and we got to adjust accordingly, right? We don't want to just waste time going after deals you're never going to be able to get, right? So, you know, is it possible you're not getting the very best deals? Yes, unfortunately, that's possible. But, man, in a situation where you're buying real estate, bro, there's you, there's your interest, and there's a seller, and there's their interest, right? It would be crazy to only look at it from your perspective, right? Because you need them to say yes to do the deal, right? So that's why I've set up this strategy. I think it will work for you. And obviously, I did the numbers uh, in, in the previous um, previous footage, rather, using traditional lending terms, 25% down. I know some of the lenders you're talking to may be requiring a little bit more, so you'll need to adjust your numbers accordingly. So that is this one. Everyone else, if you want to work with me in the same way Phil's been doing, send my team an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. Give us your number. We'll walk you through the process. And Phil, I got two more. Let's get into one right now. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.